Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day today here in Arkansas. And I will tell you that I'm finally, finally, oh, this Barbara, this is a Meemaw, a Visit Meemaw channel. And I wish you would subscribe and like and share. Hummingbirds are acting up this morning. <laughs> I bet you can hear them in the background. Anyway, I'm still working on my uh, garden afghan. I really don't have any steps to add other than I've added colors different colors, you know, as I go along. But I do like the way this green, this red and green are striking colors on here. Did you see? Can you pick them out? I don't know if you can see or not. But anyway, I'm continuing my little now. I'm making some little, uh, shoot, I can't remember the name of them. You know what they are. You crocheters know. And the ones that don't, We'll look it up, but it's, uh, those are, uh, uh, four crochets they are put together, pulled together into a little pom-pom. I did every other stitch. Anyway, that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm sitting out on the patio. Today's Wednesday. Today is the day I go see the, uh, the sleep doctor. And I'm going to go see the sleep doctor because of my CPAC. <clears throat> now, I'm not getting anywhere and getting it replaced. So, they said, well, I'll just start all over and go to a sleep doctor, get tested. <laughs> oh, here are my sunglasses. Okay. And get tested, uh, you know, reevaluated. So, maybe then I can get a new CPAC machine because they have been recalled. Uh, and across the world, I get. I didn't realize that they weren't just in America. No, I didn't. But they're everywhere, and everyone's having the same problem worldwide. You know, we're such a small world now that we are so much closer together in communications that it, uh, it's almost like when I get a when I get a comment, uh, like from a young man, I got a comment from. Uh, Oh, where was he from? Netherlands? Yes, I think so. And it was, I was so surprised <laughs> and delighted, you know. I really couldn't answer him back because I don't know quite how to do it. I tried, but I didn't, I didn't, really, I didn't know how, but I was surprised that people all over the world have the same problems we have, or they have the, we have the same problems they have. Sometimes uh, that's the way the world is. Well, it's not. Sometimes it is the way the world is. My sister called her all upset because of all the things going on in Afghanistan. And I, I'm saying, you know, it's always been this way. It's, it's unfortunate and sad, you know, that that could be going on. But it is. I don't know what to do about it, but our young men are, you know, traveling on to foreign lands and trying their best to, to do what we think is good, you know, helping people out, our neighbors around the world. And, and if they ask us to help, of course we want to help, just like our neighbors next door. I mean, they're next door too, they're just a little further away. <laughs> just a little bit further away, but, uh, but anyway. I thought I'd work on this. Oh, oh, I got back from sleep. Okay, uh, I'm going to the sleep doctor today, Dr. Berkey, and uh, I'm sure that he's going to set me up a sleep study since it's been a while. The last time I had an appointment with him, it was snowing, and so they canceled the appointments. Well, then I forgot all about it. <laughs> 36 months later, recall on the machine, I go, oh my gosh, I should have had a V8. But uh, I don't know if it made a difference if I had gone to the sleep uh doctor and uh in january if it had changed the outcome of the cpac machine now 
I may have to do the same thing if I had gone to that apartment. I mean, uh, but I, but anyway, securing a CPAC machine is uh, still my mission. I uh, still hadn't died from mine. I'm still using it because I can't sleep without it. <clears throat> and I've got all the letters. I've got all the emails. I've communicated with private people who, uh, private companies that service the CPAC machines and other CPAC machines and technology of Philips. And uh, so far, I've gone back to Dr. Berkey, and that's who I'm going to see. And... Uh, there's Miss Peggy this morning without a little bit. <laughs> oh, she's out and about this morning. It's rent week. I've got to get my rent up there for sure. But this morning, uh, I probably will wait till the first. But anyway, um, where was I at? Mm. I can't remember where I was. <sighs> Anyway, it's a pretty morning. <laughs> I got a funny story. I, well, I think it's funny. It's just a story of life for me. <laughs> I was talking to a girl the other day on CareLink as we were going in to the, you know, they picked me up in my wheelchair and take me up to the appointment. Well, we were talking about crocheting and stuff. You know, and I said, I told her, I said, I've been crocheting since I was 12 years old. I said, uh, a friend of my mama, she used to sit on the front swing with me, and certain times when she would come over to visit, she'd crochet, and and uh, she would try to teach me. Well, I was all fun, I must admit, but, and more of a tomboy than a crocheter, I thought. To myself, you know, I always thought, ah, I better be a boy, because they get to do everything. But anyway, that's enough of that. She, <laughs> well, she taught me how to crochet now. Start with that was in, oh, let's see, the early 50s. Well, by the 60s, I am uh, crocheting, you know, like flower children and stuff I'm like that. Uh, no, let me stop. <laughs>